So, I am Karen Ladron de Guevara, the wife of Sergio Ladron de Guevara, and we are going to go into his studio. We'll start with looking at his books because they're very beautiful, many gorgeous art books. Rembrandt, Bellini, Morandi, Chagall, Cezanne, the whole group, all of his friends. And let's see, this is just an annex room to his studio. And we will go in there now, the light is on. We'll pretend that he's here, he is. And let's see, well, I guess we, he had here two easels. These easels are showing paintings that were the last paintings he was working on. He passed away three years ago and he came directly from this studio and we went to the hospital. So these are the last, and they're from the series of the walls of Mexico. So this was a man with a, his, uh, this was a wall with some tires. You can see right there the sketch. Do you see the sketch, the little sketch for him? And uh, it looks like he was mixing in uh, some type of thing like marble powder in with the paint. And then he always had several things going at once as a good Gemini would. He had this over here and all of this. <laughs> It's amazing. Actually, this is something that I found interesting. I only found it whoop, after he passed away and I came in here. He had these burlap, some pieces glued on here, and then he was te moving these around compositionally to see what he wanted to do with it. I think that was, I don't know, this is a color like that. So, it's very interesting. You can see how different it is from what he was usually doing. It's hard to say how much goes on and went on in the studio. It, it's, a, it's an amazing place that you could stand and look. Let's just go over here and I'll show you. This was where he did a lot of drawings. He liked to look out into the grapevine that he plant, planted from a one quart container. Took over the patio there, the balcony. This is where he did sketches. He did patinas on frames, all kinds of things like that. This is a beautiful thing. And then <laughs> some of his students laugh and they say, Sergio never got rid of his brushes. <laughs> he, he, didn't, he wasn't going to use them because they didn't still have spring, but he liked the way they looked, I think. So you can see that if you look at every little thing here, this is a famous camera. That camera he used sometimes to take when we were traveling and he was doing the series of the walls of Mexico. He used this little camera, which was like five dollars, to like, as we were driving, he never drove, I drove, he would shoot the, the, a picture and then sometimes and make a sketch or whatever. So many times we would stop, but this is a this is a funny camera. It wasn't like awesome. a big fancy camera or whatever, but and he lost it. He would leave it in bakeries and they'd run out after him and say, sir, sir, your camera. So, so, I mean, all of these things are just, I guess we should someday just really go very, very slowly through this because mm -hmm. all kinds of things like this is really something. This is a sketch. I'll put it here for a wall of Mexico. And that was his studio in Mexico City when he was a young man. It used to be a boys club for his brother. And that's the sketch of the original painting that someone now has from the series of the walls. Here's another sketch. This is the original. This is going to his son Louis Antoine in, in uh, France. That was the last triptych that he did. It's three pieces. Very beautiful. And my picture is, this was a portrait of me from Mexico with Popo in the background. <laughs> this is great. And over here is really a wonderful, wonderful thing. These, uh, Sergio complained 
that the pigments, uh, the, the paints were not like they used to be many years. He started painting in 1953. He painted for many years. And uh, I think it's 63 years he lived as a painter. And he, he was concerned that the pigments were not as good as they used to be. So from Kremer Pigments in New York, a German man who has a store in Germany, but also one in New York, he ordered all these beautiful pigments. They're just incredible. Azurite, lapis lazuli, all, all beautiful pigments. And he would add that to um, the color to, to, to intensify, not intensify the color, but to make it beautiful. This is something very special that it is, it is pieces of the last Velazquez's that we saw some months before he passed away. Someday I will do a big a video just on that. It's unbelievable. This, this is the sketch that we saw him doing in that photo that's on the introduction. Oh, on the profile on picture. On the profile picture. Yeah. That is so cool. And I didn't even know that it was here. What this, is this piece called? This is Monte Fiorale. It's a village in uh, south of uh, Florence in Italy. And it's a beautiful little... No, so he sketched yeah. this right here. That is what he was doing uh, in that picture that we saw. Uh, you know, that, that photo that we put on the entrance to the YouTube page. That's beautiful. He's kneeling down with that. So, let's see what else. Oh, Esther's house in Bell Canyon outside of in L.A. And her husband and Sergio, his name is Scott, uh, painted all the time together and they would paint off of this balcony because of beautiful mountains behind. Sergio loved the mountains. Giorgio Morandi, one of his favorite painters, which they had in Bologna, and they, um, they took his studio and put it into the museum. And when we visited, we, it looked so much like Sergio's studio and he's one of Sergio's favorite painters. So these are pictures of his children and just little things that he liked. More of his brushes over here that it, it's just funny because there are some people that just make a lot of jokes with Sergio about his brushes because they would say to him, how, how do you choose a brush? And he'd say, not by price because you could have a good brush or a bad brush, and it didn't necessarily depend on the price. The important thing, this doesn't look so good, the important thing is that you put it in your mouth, and then you put it on your hand here, and you see the spring. So there were many jokes of many people about Sergio and that. Oh, we'll do some things for silver point over here. Silver point is a very beautiful technique of drawing with silver on a prepared surface. There are none here, there are some in the gallery, but I think this is a silver point powder. And these are just things, mortars and pestles. He liked this stone, he liked this stone. This, you can see, is echoing the Pandoras, the Pandora series. He would find these things and then just put them here.